Google is more than just Google. It's more than just www.google.com. Your ads also can appear on blogs, portals, park domains, Gmail, YouTube. There's a whole other part to Google called the display network. However, you can burn through a lot of money on the display network if you don't know what you're doing. So in this gotcha video, I'm going to explain what the display network is and how to make sure you're not burning money needlessly. Let's get started. Welcome back. We are in class number two of our quick class on AdWord gotchas. We're going to look at the display network and we're going to understand where you can get burned by running on the display network as well as understand what it is. A lot of people don't even know what the display network really is. So your code is 67. You can click on the YouTube description below to get to all the materials. I recommend you register so you can get the free AdWords toolbook which has lots of free resources to help you be a better advertiser on AdWords. Alright, let's look at the display network here. So let's sort of understand first what is the display network? So the display network is a very different animal than what most people think of as Google advertising. So the display network, unlike Google, means I'm reading the Chicago Tribune, I'm over here and some lady is going to sue somebody in Skokie over a DUI, uh, not the most beautiful picture there, and you can see this guy right here in the middle of the screen. That ad is being generated by Google these ads are being generated by Google. So I'm reading about blah 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 and oh yeah I need some diabetes food. So this is a browse relationship. Where's another example of uh, the display network? So I use this example of cat and dog boarding when I teach my AdWords classes. So here you are and you notice the ads. These ads are being driven by Google. These ads are being driven by Google. So you'll see ads and this is just a a site that just has you know all sorts of information and you can see as it loads that here is ads being driven by Google. So those are examples of the display networks. Now it gets a little bit more crazy. There are what are called parked domains. I don't know if you've ever run into these. So this is a parked domain where it's just search upon search upon search and what you end up with is Google ads. So the display network is useful but it's a very different animal than what most people think of with Google advertising because most people think of Google advertising as I go to Google and I put in cat boarding and I hit enter and I see ads and off I go. That's not what the display network is. The display network is I'm over here browsing people and I'm paying attention to the most important things out here in the world like you know Lily and Julianne pretty women and I'm reading this and on here I'm going to see ads somewhere on this page by Google. I'm going to see Google ads running on these sites. So that is what the display network is. Now let's talk about where people get into trouble and I'm going to sort of zig and zag here a little bit. So I'm going to log into AdWords and I want to show you where I am sure, I am positive that many of you have made a terribly tragic mistake when you set up your campaigns. Go into AdWords, click New Campaign, and here you go. This is where Google is like a little bartender and it gets us in trouble. It prompts us to run on both the search and the display network at the same time and that is not recommended. You want to run only on the search network in general. For 90% of advertisers this is the best value. It means run only on Google a couple search partners like AOL, but don't run on these browse networks. When you're a more advanced uh, advertiser, you want to split those into two different types of campaigns. So this is, in my humble opinion, this is the most misleading sentence in all of AdWords, that you should run on both of those together. That is not true. It is terribly misleading and it has caused devastating expenses to many people that we've worked with. So you want to make sure when you set up a new campaign in general for beginners, choose search network only. If you're running an existing campaign, go into the existing campaign, go up to the settings. In the settings, you will see you have the choice in the settings of changing to just search. 
So most of you, I would say 85% of you, don't even understand the difference between these two networks, and you're running on display without even understanding it. And therefore, you might be running on some bad match types, because Google is not super tight at how it matches on the display network. And we go into that in more detail in our full class. Okay, so that is where it is. Now let's look at some other issues uh, that you wanna, you wanna sort of understand, okay? You wanna understand. Now let's look at possible placements. Okay, go into AdWords and let's click on Tools and Analysis. Let that load again. Go to Tools and Analysis. Go down here to Display Planner. In Display Planner, you can get a little preview. Hey Google, what do you think the match is for? So let's type in catboarding. And hit Get Group Ideas. And then over here on the left hand side, I usually like to clean this up a little bit. So this is going to tell Google where we're running. So let's click over here and let's run. Oh, that's okay. We can leave that there for now. All right, let's go over here and let's click on Placements. Okay, and under Placements, we have to kind of drill in here. So let's sort of drill in here. It's a very messy little interface. And then you can see here, now you can click on this. It's a lot of clicks, isn't it? And you can see over here, it's saying, this is a place I might run your ad. Okay, now think about the relationship here. I'm cat boarding. I'm looking for people who just want to board their cats. Do I really want to run on vetinfo.com? This is maybe people who are looking for what? A veterinarian. Their cat is sick, their dog is sick. It's not a great match. It's not way off of the match type, but it's not a really strong match. But you'll often find really bad. Here's an example. What did I put in there? Cat boarding. Where is it trying to get me to run an ad on? Doghealthguide.com. Right? Now, this is like, hello, Google, hello. I just typed in cat boarding, cats. I do not want to run on a dog health guide site. This makes no sense. What's the problem? People might be reading and they might go, oh, I'm going to click over here. Oh, that's interesting. And off they go. And I just paid for that click. So you've got to watch out for those. Type your keywords in here and get a sense of whether the types are pretty good. This actually is a pretty tight match for Google. I've seen much, much, much worse. So Tools and Analysis, Display Planner, you can get a preview of where you're running and see how good it might be. Remember in your head to have this concept, can I do, I want to reach people when they're browsing, which is very different from when they're searching. Browsing is, I'm on people.com, I'm reading about critically important things like Miley Cyrus. Oh yeah, I got to board my cat. That's a different relationship than I go to Google and I type in cat boarding. So that's the first thing to really start thinking about is that display planner, whether it's good or not for you at all. Now let's say, and then I showed you how to turn it on and off. Now let's say you're running and you want to know where am I actually, oops, I didn't know what I was doing. Where am I actually running? Go into AdWords, go to your campaign. Now I'm going to go up here to a campaign that we actually ran on the display network. So turn on your campaign. Usually you need to get a lot of data, so go to All Time. Go over to the tab Display Network. Let that load. Click on Placements. This is if you are running. Many of you are going to be running because you didn't know any better. Then you can click. Let's click Descending Clicks. And I can see, okay, so I was running on Gmail. That's cool. I was running About.com. And we know what we're doing. So we can see. If you don't know what something is, you know, daily mail, just copy the URL, control C as in Charlie, go over here and paste it into your browser and get a sense, okay, I was running on this website. What is this website, Daily Mail? I mean, I know what it is. It's a British publication. So I was running here. Okay, it's kind of a trashy little tabloid. Not so bad for what we were doing. So you want to go and look, display, click on your campaign, display network placements, and look and see. If you don't like something, you can check this box here and you can exclude it. So you've got to do what I call weed the garden if you're running on Display Network. I do not recommend that people run on Display Network unless they know what they're doing. It is a more advanced tactic and unfortunately Google 
leads us down the primrose path, puts us on the display network, kind of whether we really want to be there or not. Google is like the bartender in a bar. It keeps us drinking, keeps us drinking, keeps us drinking. That's not the most effective way to set up an AdWords campaign to be efficient. Okay, finally, let's talk about another thing you can do. Let's say you are running and then you want to, you know, you want to tighten it up right at the beginning. So go into your ad campaign that you're running, go to display network, go down to the bottom because that's where they hide everything. Go to exclusions. Look how hard they make it. Go down to exclusions, click over here to placements, then click over here on the far right on the campaign level add exclusion, whoops, I'm sorry, view placements, I'm going to add a, a placement topic here. Here we go. Select a group, fine, any group, and you can select them one by one. What I'm trying to show you is you can actually hear categories, my bad. It's so confusing, I get lost. Go over to categories, click add exclusions, and under all that monkey business, look at this. These are sort of your trash websites, crime, profanity, sexually suggestive. It's going to run by default on every one of these categories unless you drill way, 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 way down here and turn them off. So I usually turn off all of these except I usually don't turn off uh, the Ad Planner 100. That's usually sort of an okay place to run. So again, that's where they hide sort of the trash categories and you have to know to exclude those trash categories at the beginning. Otherwise, it's going to run you. So long story short about gotcha number two is in general I do not recommend that beginning advertisers run on the display network. If you are running check where your actual placements are and weed the garden and get rid of that garbage. There may be quite a lot of garbage on there. It really varies uh, based on what you're doing whether it's good or bad. So it's a more strategic uh, thing. Unfortunately Google tends to mislead you into running on there when oftentimes that's not the most uh, cost-effective choice. Uh, finally, so go to the website, sign up for all the goodies. We've got a nice little mini tool book with lots of resources to help you be a smarter advertiser. This was gotcha number two. Understand the display network and for most people do not run on the display network. Thank you so much for watching.